Get back! Get back! Get out! Get out! I need the car. Oh. Oh. Out! Get off this one! This one, yeah, that's the man. That's the man. Eso ya, ya, ya es falta de respeto. Eso, eso es falta de respeto. La pinche policía que le faltó el respeto. Ya. Via TikTok user Sherp Nuru, a female officer with the New York Police Department commits a heinous act of police brutality as the cameras captured it all. Se está grabando aquí. Eso es falta de respeto que la pinche vieja. Compartan. Compartan viejo que esto es falta de respeto. La morra que, que le dio. Get back. Who's 4688? No. This reminds us of another example with the NYPD, of which there are plenty, let's be clear, where folks with the department continue to show how they do not serve the public, like when a resident fell onto the subway and an officer didn't care to help, not one bit. How is this allowed? Why are they able to get away with stuff like this? These are questions you should be asking. Everybody can see y'all. Every single around. person can see y'all. Turn around with your hands behind your back. For what? Turn around with your hands behind your back. He's walking. Hey. And you don't need to be doing that. Don't do that. Let it go. Let it go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come here. TV and up. Why are there pepper spams? That's the boy. He's not even doing nothing. What? What? Badge number, please. Badge number. Don't push me. Use the force. Where they go? What the fuck? No, I got you. Clear. Clear. All your badge numbers. Where are you? Where are you? Yo, 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 yo. More incidents with the subway would follow. Tasing a man who was recording would lead to legal observers also being placed in handcuffs. Yo, what the f she didn't know what to do anything. And even appeared to take the observer's phone and keep it in their custody. For what? No, 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 For what? You need to uncuff her right now. Yeah, no. Abuse of power right here. Right in front of our faces. And folks will always say, well, liberal New York City. However, when it comes to policing, it is anything but. This is a countrywide issue. This is a world wide issue. The NYCLU will take it from here. In the summer of 2020, we obtained a comprehensive database of complaints made by the public to the New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board, or CCRB, the independent agency charged with investigating complaints about NYPD misconduct. Then in May of 2021, the NYCLU added updated and more detailed information to the database, which includes 180,700 unique police misconduct complaints since 2000 involving 59,244 separate incidents and 35,435 active or former NYPD officers. Those are big numbers of the 180,700 complaints investigated by the CCRB since the year 2000, only 4,283 of that 180. Thousand plus total cases receive some type of discipline from the NYPD, of which 1,530, the number is getting smaller, or 1% of all cases receive discipline considered serious, which includes forfeiting vacation days. I'm just going to stop here. That's considered serious. Forfeiting vacation days is serious. Suspension, probation, or termination. I consider only termination to be serious. In 74% of substantiated complaints with CCRB discipline recommendations, the NYPD overrode those recommendations by imposing a lesser grade of discipline or imposing no discipline. No discipline was opposed in 67% of total substantiated complaints. 